The magazine covers were cool, but now that I think of it, actually, probably the happiest moment was just, like, you know, make, making music all these years that has kind of emotionally reached other, pe other people. Because, like, that was cool on a superficial level, but the cooler thing is the connection, making art that you can leave behind after you die. Hi guys, this is Elliot from Little Pump People here, and today we're in Brooklyn and we're interviewing Marissa Nadler, and I'm super excited, and let's do this. Awesome. Congrats on your new cover story in the Spin Magazine. Are you excited for your new tour? Yeah, it's been pretty cool, so I am excited. A little nervous, to be honest, because it's a lot of pressure, but generally, yes, excited. <laughs> I'm excited. How long did it take you to make your all the colors of the dark video oh at least two months the you know stop motion animation is have you ever done any of it no it's but really, i really like that style. i could show you sometime it's really because i teach a little bit of art um you know it took a long time because to get like the eyeball falling out of the head for instance you have to move it and take a picture you have to take like a hundred pictures for 10 seconds of a video for it to look like to make it to move, so it took a long time, but it was worth it because I was proud of the final result and want to do more of it, you know? Yeah, I really like that stop motion type of style. Thanks. <laughs> your voice sounds like a beautiful angel. Do you ever <laughs> think about how your music helps people feel better? Yeah, I think that one of the good things about put, picking a life in the arts, as I know you're involved in the arts too, is the emotional connection with the f people that listen to the music. And I, that actually is one of the things that makes it worthwhile, like all the difficulties and the years of, the years of a lack of success, all that stuff. It's nice when just even one person says something nice, it makes it all good. Yeah, if if you could make the soundtrack of, to a movie, what kind of movie would you want to be? Want, want it to be? I really want to. I want to make horror movie soundtracks really badly. Like, so if anybody's watching this, I'm your girl for horror movies and well, any kind of thriller, crime TV. I'm really into watching crime television, and I want to just do kind of ambient, wordless creepy music just for fun like outside of my song work yeah, yeah. What my mom my mom watches a lot of crime and like <laughs> investigation channels and stuff it's the best i mean i know it sounds weird because i'm here talking to a kid being like let's watch about murders but you know <laughs> um i do enjoy the thriller aspect the suspense and i like yeah. the dark stuff so yeah, I like that like eerie vibe stuff yeah, too. Awesome. If you can be a ghost in the afterlife, would you rather be a kid ghost, an adult ghost, or an old lady ghost? Oh, I would. Oh, that's a really interesting question. You know, after all the interviews I've done recently, that might be my favorite question ever. I. Could I pick something else besides a person to be a ghost of? Yeah. Like, I kind of would like to be a tree or the ocean or something not a person just because I've already experienced being a person. There's a lot of tragedy and, I mean, there's a lot of happy things too, but it might be nice to just be a living creature that didn't have thoughts or feelings. <laughs> It sounded kind of sad, but you know, I just want, I think it would be interesting to come back as like a jellyfish or something. I don't think, I don't know if jellyfish have souls. Nobody knows that. Yeah, who knows? If you could bring any musician back from the dead to make a song with, who would you pick? 
Well, I, I took a peek at the, uh, so I had a little time to think about this, but the one, I just, there's so many that I would love to work with, but one of the first people that came to mind was Elliot Smith. Um, and maybe because we were just talking about him, but he, like starting when I was about 15, 16 years old, he, his music really, really reached me emotionally in a way that um, nothing ever really had to that extent before. It was just so pure. So that's the first person that I can think of. I, I agree with you. Really? I, yeah. Wow. Uh, my name is, my, I'm named after that's Elliot right. Smith. Oh, that's right. Maybe that's a good thing that that was the first one that came to mind then. Did you like high school when you're a teenager? <laughs> no, I hated high school. What not, you... not to make you worried, but you've... I had a hard time fitting in, and I went to public school, and I had problems paying attention. Um, <laughs> I was a really good student, but at the same time, I just didn't feel like I belonged in the school. But the good news is for all those people going through high school and struggling, it does get better afterwards. I, I ended up going to a great art school and finding people that I did have things in common with. So even if you're, I grew up in a really small town, not New York City. So through, I was like the only artistic, one of the only artistic people that I knew. And so no, I hated school. What, what were <laughs> your favorite bands? Um, back then, I, in high school, I was super into grunge rock. Like, I loved, I love Courtney Love. And I, like, she, to me, was a big, because I was like this lonely nerd in high school. And I didn't, like, I, to me, she was just the coolest thing ever. And so I liked Nirvana and I liked Elliot Smith. But then I also was deeply into, like, Nina Simone and Billie Holiday, Bessie Smith. Um, Joni Mitchell, Towns Van Zandt. I guess those aren't bands, but I was definitely like getting lost in music in the basement of my house, painting. I was I'm, was predominantly a paint fine artist my whole life, so I was really just in the basement, hiding and painting. <laughs> <laughs> if the apocalypse came, where would you want to be right before the world ended? Oh my gosh. You know, I got to give you some credit. These are some of the most interesting questions I've been asked all year. Good job. Gosh, I don't know. Um, I have never... I guess I'd want to be somewhere where I got a good view. <laughs> it's been weird because I imagine it would be so quick that you wouldn't see any... I don't know. Maybe on the beach, like the ocean, or on a cliff somewhere. I know most people would probably be like at home with my loved ones. I'm like imagining standing on a great abyss. I don't know, like where I can see like the sky, like eating the earth alive or something. I would probably just be sitting on my couch watching TV. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's, I mean, that would, yeah, I mean, that would also be nice. Just like being with loved ones, like the family and stuff. But I don't know, like what nobody knows what's really going to happen or how what they would do in that situation here are some comparison questions like these are sure. really fun yeah i love that stuff okay feeling able to fly or breathe underwater fly yeah what about you i, I would do fly too so yeah. i can like fly into concerts and like fly out well like to get like a record I, mean, I think it would just be more quick okay to getting places <laughs> I, mean, I think it would be kind of magical like also but also quick no traffic <laughs> yeah july or october as like a favorite season definitely october i hate the summer i mean I liked it when I didn't have to go to school, but yeah. the weather is very hot in the summer, and I kind of like the winter, and the, but the autumn is the most beautiful season of all. Yeah, yeah. I like the, the nice feel and smell of the autumn and the 
the red, orange, and yellow leaves. Exactly. And, and Halloween, which is my very favorite holiday, is in October. My mom's birthday is in October. All the cool witches come out to play in Massachusetts, too, because I, I live in Massachusetts, so it's it's extra witchy and Halloween-y every year. And so it's kind of just a f- like fun time of year in New England. That's pretty awesome. I really like your um, Elliot Smith Radiohead and Danzig covers. Do you ever think you're going to do a cover record of, like, a lot of good like songs and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, I, I want to do, I have like three covers compilations kind of, but they're not really official because they're all home recorded. So I want to do like a, a real well-recorded covers record with Randall. I think that's kind of in the cards. Randall's the guy that produces my new records. So. Pretty cool. Is there anything you'd like to add? Well, I, I would like to add that I think you came up with some awesome questions and this has really been fun to talk to you meet you guys so thanks for listening to the music and taking all this time out of your day no thank you for taking all this time out of your day to do an interview yeah i had a lot of fun really i mean it when i say like awesome questions so keep up the good work okay thank you so much thank you (laughs) Yeah, I meant that. Like, I've been answering questions so much, and yeah.